DJ Yoda and I play records loudly to people. I don't just play records, I play video things with the records as well. I was making mixtapes and I was putting in audio samples from films that I liked, TV shows that I liked, cartoons, just anything that I thought was cool on top of the beats because it's kind of a very hip-hop way of approaching things, you sample things and you throw them in. Um, and then as time went on, the technology then advanced to the point where you could actually mix um, Scratch with the videos themselves. So it, just, it was like an um, obvious kind of progression for me to then be actually using the movies themselves rather than just the music. Um, so it was technology that allowed me to do it. I think the thing is, like the point that we're at now, because I was explaining how the technology is just quite nascent, I think it's very early days with it and there's no kind of industry standard way of using video with music yet. So those people that I do know that are doing video stuff with music, everyone's doing something completely different. They've got different, a different setup that some people use it for very kind of um, psychedelic swirly visuals and stuff. Other people very much um, just play music videos. So everyone's doing something different. Um, I sample loads of YouTube stuff. I sample loads of movies that I like. It's, that's just the way that I, I do it. And I'm not really looking at anyone else to kind of inspire me for that. I'm just using the same kind of ideas that I use when I DJ, which is just to play anything that I like. Just be honest about my own taste and then just include that. I just, I'm in a constant mode of any media that I consume and my ears kind of prick up if there's something that I think is cool and I've always been like that anyway so if I'm watching TV and flicking channels and someone says something that I want to sample I immediately write that down and I've got this like notes section on my phone which reads like the ranting of the lunatic of just various things like movies that I need and radio shows that I need to record and stuff like that so it takes being in a certain kind of uh, frame of mind. That's a really hard one because I'm much I find it much easier to kind of advise DJs that just want to play music. With the music and video thing, I think I've, like you said, kind of found my own little kind of thing. So it's difficult for me to tell people what to do other than just, like, do something that you think is cool yourself. Don't try and copy anyone else. Um, and I think if you're really honest about your tastes and you create honestly, then you're automatically unique because you're just being true. Only you can have the exact taste that you have. So if you're true to that, you'll, you'll just be original by default. Yeah, be proud about your weird taste.